You had a song released on the soundtrack for Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, is that correct? That is correct. What do you think of Shang-Chi as a superhero? Oh! What's up, this is Kashi, and I'm about to take a lie detector test. I will catch him lying if he lies. Not nervous at all. He's nervous. I'm nervous. <laughs> Man. Is your real name Keshi? My real name is not Keshi. My real name is Casey Luong. True. True. Is your birthday November 4th? My birthday is November 4th. True. Have you ever taken a lie detector test before? I have never taken a lie detector test before. True. We got a couple of questions from your friends and family. Does that, <clears throat> does that make you nervous? I'm excited to hear what they asked. You were born in Sugarland, correct? That is right. I was born in Sugarland, Texas. True. Is there any place that you love better than your home state? It depends. No, honestly, no, not really. It depends on, on your mood, I guess, if you want to like, take a vacation or, you know, but no, I, I love my home. I love my house. True. Where is your favorite place to eat in your home city? Ooh, it's a restaurant called Cotarobata in Houston. It's in downtown. It's my favorite place to eat. It's where I have all my day nights and like where I take my friends to eat and stuff. True. Let's talk about your hobbies. Yeah. You play a lot on Twitch, is that right? Uh, I play sometimes on Twitch. Yeah, not too frequently, but yeah, every now and then. True. What do you play more on? Like Twitch? what console or like? Uh, I play more on my PC than anything. True. In your Twitch profile, you write, please don't tell my manager I'm playing games. Right. Do you often spend your time gaming when you're supposed to be working? Yes, I do. I spend a lot of time playing games when I'm at home, um, which is why I have to come out to LA to work if I need to like focus and stuff. But yeah, probably from the hours of Shit, like 8 to 2 a.m. 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. I'll probably be gaming. True. Have you ever lied to anyone else about not being able to do something because you were gaming? Yeah, I've definitely lied to my fiance about um, like needing to do some work and sending her on H-E-B grocery runs when I would actually be playing games. True. <laughs> <laughs> We're not trying to get anybody in trouble. I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. In 2020, you went from 2,156 followers to 16,418 followers on Twitch. Really? Yes. Wow. Are you hoping to one day reach as many followers as Ninja? No. No. I'm nowhere near that good. You need to be like, actually, you need to not just be good, but you need to be entertaining to watch when you play games, um, which I'm not like, when I'm playing games, I don't want to have to focus on making other people like happy. I just want to relax, you know? So that's why I've kind of drifted away from streaming a little bit. Also, it makes me nervous, so. True. What is your favorite game to stream or play? Uh, it's a game called Valorant. I really like playing Valorant. It's really fun. True. Let's talk about your music. Yeah. In your early years playing guitar and writing music, <clears> you said, John Mayer and Ed Sheeran were your biggest influences. Is yep. that right? That is true, yeah. True. Do you think you're as good as John Mayer and Ed Sheeran? No. Well, I think I'm better than Ed Sheeran at the guitar. Not as, not as good as John Mayer at the guitar. True. Sorry, Ed. <laughs> Have you ever written a song about someone and they didn't know it was about them? Yes, but they end up finding out like sooner or later, um, they can probably assume like after their story, it's like pretty like stark. So yeah. Have you ever lied about an experience in a song? Have I ever lied? I wouldn't call it lying. I feel like as a writer, you like are trying to put yourself into someone else's shoes. So you live like vicariously through their experience. So um, it's not so much lying as you're trying to fill the gaps and what you assume their story is. Yeah. True. Have you ever forgotten the words to a song while performing? Absolutely, yes, yes. I've, I've done it on tour. Um, I've done it on some, at some really big shows, actually, so. Um, it's great, though, because the crowd kind of 
sings it for you. Um, you can't really botch it too bad. They're there to see you, so it's, it's okay. True. Do you think your fans have loved every song you've made? No, no. Um, I remember going through comments and there are some fans who, um, like as you kind of change your style, um, they might not vibe with it completely. Um, and I've seen some of those comments, they can be a little bit harsh, but you know, I get it. You know, you don't have to love every single thing that your favorite artist makes. And sometimes it, you feel betrayed a little bit, but um, you know, hopefully they like the stuff that I continue to put out. True. How do you feel about the word Keshasi? I knew you were gonna say this. Um, I feel like it was like really foreign to me at the time. And I was like, what the hell is this? But uh, once I kind of, it took me like five minutes to like research into the meme. I was like, okay, I get it. Like, it's, I mean, it's fine. It's, it's a word. True. I feel like you just add a C to like whatever the you want and like, it'll just be a thing for whatever fan base. You can, it's very, it's like salt or like pepper. Like you can sprinkle it on anything you want. Have you ever released a song that you thought you could have performed better? Um, yeah. Oh, performed better? No, like I feel like all the takes that I do, are, I'm like happy with those takes. I kind of agonize over in the studio and I spend hours until I get like a take that I really, really like. like. Um, but there are songs that I wish that I had maybe written a little better or like wish I hadn't put out. Um, but like I said, all on the journey. True. You had a song released on the soundtrack for Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings, is that correct? That is correct. What do you think of Shang-Chi as a superhero? Oh, wow. Um, I really enjoyed the movie. Is that true or false? True. That's true, I did enjoy the movie. It was way better than I thought it was gonna be. I was nervous about, you know, such a huge feature film, you know, um, combined with like the cultural representation aspect. And I was really hoping they'd do it well and do it justice, and they did. They absolutely did. They crushed it. And the action scenes were so sick, especially when they brought out the rings and stuff. It was so fun to watch, yeah. Is Shang-Chi my favorite superhero? No. Spider-Man is my favorite superhero. True. If Spider-Man's your favorite superhero, then that means that historically you've preferred Marvel over DC. Absolutely. That's not, a, yeah, that's super easy. I, I don't like DC heroes. I don't like Batman. Don't like super Superman. Like, I think Wonder Woman's lame. No, all, definitely Marvel superheroes for sure. True. Absolutely true. All right, let's talk about friends and family. Yeah. Would you say that when you were a child, you were a troublemaker? Um, I wasn't that, no, I don't think I was a troublemaker. It's a lie. Oh, that's a lie? Okay. Um, I did get in trouble for smoking weed in school. Um, like, I snuck out of the house a couple of times. Um, I never stole. I never stole. True. You were an oncology nurse, is that correct? That is correct, I was an oncology nurse. Were you nervous to tell your family that you wanted to pursue music? Yeah, I was, uh, I was pretty nervous, but I mean, it was kind of present throughout my whole life, like music was. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say I was like particularly nervous. I just knew there was gonna be a fight, like impending, yeah. Who's your best friend? My best friend is my fiance, my. Have you ever kept a secret from her? Yes. Well, I'm just gonna say yes, because I'm assuming that I have, but like, yes. You can't think of one off the top of your head? No. Yeah, just like small white lies and stuff like that. Like, oh, like, are you not feeling good? Like, I can like go and get dinner. I'm like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not feeling so good. Is that a Scorpio trait? For sure. You think you did good? I think I did pretty good, yeah. How did I do, John? I did good. Who would you like to challenge to take one of these? It can be anybody you know or anybody you don't know. Oh. I would like to challenge Max Schneider to take one of these tests. I think he'd have some fun, or maybe not, we'll see. Thanks everyone for watching. I cannot wait to take everything off.